Welcome to Ex Libris's new support portal for 360 services, Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrix. In this session, we will review the following topics. The Ex Libris Customer Knowledge Center, all access points to the support portal, how to log into the portal, where to find your cases and tickets and case management, how to open a new case, what case sharing means, and how to close a case. We will then take a look at the additional Exlibris systems and provide additional contact information for Exlibris, a ProQuest company. Let's start with the Exlibris landing page, the Customer Knowledge Center. Please note that the 360 Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrich's products will be available starting September 12th. This is the Knowledge Center where we have aggregated all types of articles for your convenience. Here you can find product documentation, quick answers to questions our support staff is asked, and also undergo any relevant pre-recorded training such as this one. You can either browse the site based on product and content type, or use the search bar to find specific articles. For example, search for Summon Administration Console While you cannot follow specific articles in order to receive ongoing updates, Exlibris will send out periodic emails with important updates made to major articles. We recommend searching for your favorite articles and bookmarking them here as well. The site is also indexed by Google, so you can search for results directly from your Google search bar and be redirected to the Knowledge Center. Here you will find the ProQuest and Exlibris integration FAQ, where we have provided a detailed explanation on various topics of interest following the integration. The Knowledge Center is free and open to all and does not require any login credentials. In the event that a search on the Knowledge Center did not resolve your issue and you would like to submit a case to Exlibris support, there are many routes to access the Exlibris support portal. Continuing from the Knowledge Center, you can click on the Submit a Case button and be redirected to the Support Portal. The Support Portal can also be accessed directly with the link exlibrisgroup.com. You can also follow the familiar routes from the ProQuest homepage and the ProQuest Support Center login page, as well as being able to switch over from within the ProQuest Support Center to the Exlibris Support Portal. Further, the link in the Client Center will now automatically redirect you to the Exlibris Support Portal. Now that we know how to get to the Exlibris Support Portal, let's discuss logging in. For your convenience, we have used your existing ProQuest Support Center usernames to create users on your behalf. Everyone in your institution who uses a ProQuest Support Center login to manage support cases for 360, Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrich's products can use the same username to log into the Exlibris portal. If this is your first time logging into the Exlibris support portal, click on the banner at the top of the login page in order to obtain a new password. Enter the email address you use to access the ProQuest Support Center and click to obtain a new password. If you are not certain what email address is associated with your ProQuest Support Center user, Try the email address you use for Client Center or to send support questions for 360 Summon in Toda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrich's products. If you are a returning user, simply enter your email address and the password you have created to access your support portal. For existing Exlibris customers, please continue to use your current username and password and you will have access to all relevant cases. And welcome to the Exlibris Support Portal. Here you will be able to manage all open, pending, and resolved cases. You must be wondering what happened to your current list of cases, which have moved, and where you can find them. All 360, Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrich's open cases and resolved cases open after January 1, 2015 have been migrated to the Exlibris Support Portal. Resolved cases older than January 1, 2015 will be migrated at a later stage to the Exlibris Support Portal, but will be available upon request should they be needed. All other ProQuest cases will remain on the ProQuest Support Center. 
In order to reach the ProQuest Support Center, you can switch between the two systems with a convenient button. Now let's take a look at the Xlibra support portal. Please note that this recording was performed on a test sandbox environment. When you first log in, you will land on the Cases tab. Here, you can select which list of cases you would like to see. Your institution's open cases, all of your institution cases, or cases created by you. Note that the term account refers to your institution. Let's open a new case to review all of the relevant fields. Your account details will be entered automatically as you have already logged into the system. Start by selecting an asset. The asset is the representation of your account's product holdings. In this example, I will open a case on the sum and asset and select the relevant environment. Xlibra's products often contain both production and sandbox environments. All 360, Summon, Entota, AquaBrowser, and Ulrich's assets will have only one relevant environment associated with them. Please select this environment. I now have the ability to set the priority of this case, which I determined to be high. In the event of a system down, setting the priority accordingly will ensure that the Xlibra's 24-7 hub is alerted immediately. We recommend using the system component down priority only when the service is completely down or if performance issues impact functionality that is critical to end users. I am required to add a title and description and can also add helpful information for the support analyst by including details on the category and subject. Here, I am having a general configuration issue. Under the additional emails, I can add the emails of colleagues whom I would like to receive all notifications regarding this case. As the case submitter, I will receive all notifications automatically. I have submitted the case and can now review its contents. When reviewing an open case, if it was migrated from the ProQuest Support Center, you will find the corresponding case number available for your convenience. After a support analyst responds to the case, I can see the case comment and will also receive an update email. In addition, you will notice that the case status was changed from new to tier one analysis. If the support analyst requires further information from me in order to continue analysis of the issue, the case status will be changed to pending customer response. If no response is received within four weeks, we assume that the issue is no longer relevant or has already been resolved and the case status will be automatically changed to closing. For the full list of case statuses and their meanings, please see the relevant article in the Customer Knowledge Center. Add a comment here to respond to the support analyst or reply to the email received. Please note that all email responses will be sent to a new email domain, supportportal at exlibrisgroup.com. Please discontinue use of the client at proquest.com address, including currently ongoing correspondences. Now that you know how to open a case on the Xlibra support portal, we would like to take a moment to review which cases should be opened and managed here and which should be open and managed on the ProQuest Support Center. All 360, Summon, Intoda, AquaBrowser, and Ulrich's cases and tickets will be managed on the Xlibra support portal. All other ProQuest issues, such as ProQuest database, ebooks, dialogue, refworks, and dissertations and theses will continue to be managed through existing channels. There is no change for support on any ProQuest products other than for 360, Summon, Intoda, AquaBrowser, and Ulrich's. But what happens if I opened the case in the wrong portal? No problem. For your convenience, and in order to provide the most efficient support and services, we have developed an internal mechanism to make the transition as seamless as possible and ensure that the case is handled by the most appropriate team. You will see the shared with PQK status 
and will also receive the relevant case number for the ProQuest Support Center. All future activities, such as support staff updates and notifications, will be from the new case opened in the ProQuest Support Center. If a case was opened on the ProQuest Support Center and shared with Exlibris, the case status on the ProQuest Support Center will be set to pending. If you encounter any issues with the shared case, please let us know using the relevant escalation policy. Once the case is resolved on either portal, both cases will be closed accordingly. And speaking of closing cases, at Exlibris we use a slightly different procedure when cases have been resolved. We would like to introduce you to the closing status, which allows support analysts to suggest that the issue in the case has been fully resolved while still allowing you, the customer, to determine whether the case can be officially closed. When the case status is set to closing, there is a two-week period during which the case remains in this status before automatically being set to closed. Once the case status is closed, it cannot be reopened. If you choose to close a case, the status will immediately be set to closed and the case cannot be reopened. As for cases migrated from the ProQuest Support Center, all cases set to resolve within the two weeks prior to the date of the migration will be migrated in the status closing, allowing for the two-week period to run its course. Cases resolved over two weeks prior to the migration will be set to closed. That said, should you need to readdress any of the issues in a closed case, please feel free to open a new case and reference the closed one. Please note that you can no longer reply to the email notifications in existing email threads received from the ProQuest Support Center for 360, Summon, Intoda, Aquabrowser, and Ulrichs issues, as this email address, clients at ProQuest.com, will no longer be valid. All other ProQuest support email addresses remain valid and you can continue to use them as in the past. This covers ProQuest products such as ProQuest databases, ebooks, dialogue, refworks, and dissertations and theses. All future notifications of activity on your 360 Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrichs cases will be sent from support portal at exlibrisgroup.com and you are welcome to reply to these emails in order to comment on a case. When a case is closed, we would be very happy to receive your feedback on the service provided. An automated email will be sent when a case is closed with a simple one-question survey asking you to rate your satisfaction. If multiple cases are closed on a day, you will receive the survey only for the first closed case. Now that we have reviewed the Exlibris Customer Knowledge Center and Support Portal, we would like to take a moment to introduce you to the other services offered by Exlibris. Email Preferences is a feature you will notice within the Support Portal. This feature allows you to subscribe to receive email notifications based on your product holdings, as well as receive emails on general Exlibris updates. We will be making these mailing groups available for the 360, Summon, Intoda, Aqua Browser, and Ulrichs products as soon as possible. The system status page already monitors summon servers and the idea exchange and developer network will be available in the future for additional products. We would also like to note that the list serve customer groups will be created and managed by the Igloo and Iluna committees. Here is a quick review of the ways to contact us. As of September 12th, the ProQuest Support Center links you are familiar with will automatically redirect you to the new Exlibra site where you can open and manage cases. The case escalation policy is available in an article in the Knowledge Center. In the event of a suspected system down, please open a case and set the priority to system component down so that our 24 seven hub will be alerted immediately. If you have general support questions, contact us at support at and for technical system issues, such as being unable to log into the system, send an email to information.systems at exlibrisgroup.com. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this session. We appreciate your business and look forward to continuing to provide you with service that exceeds your expectations.